Hello there. <laughs> so I want to start today's video and let you know that I am bland today. I don't feel bad about myself or anything. I just feel like an EKG machine and the heart just died. You know, just, just flat. Uh, yeah, and, and so because of that, I want to tell you the reasons I don't like fasting. I'm nearing the end of my third day of this fast, and I just feel emotionally blank, mentally blank. It's almost an apathy, and I do not like being apathetic. Uh, I don't have many desires right now, almost no drive for anything. I'm at work. It's my lunch break right now. And I could care less about what's going on in the office. Is that any different from any other day? Can I just say, yes, it's different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today more than any other, I'm just feeling blah. Not bad. Not depressed. Just indifferent, not affected by anything, untouchable. And um, I don't know, usually that's a good feeling, but today's video is about things I don't like. And I don't like how blah I feel. I don't necessarily want to go sleep. Um, sitting feels really good. Laying down feels really good. I just... Can we just like put on a movie and cuddle? <laughs> I don't have any drive to really do anything. I've gotten some stuff done. I'm doing my job uh, and taking care of some personal stuff. But uh, yeah, a lot of lack of motivation. Let's put it that way. You know when you're really gung-ho about a project? You really want to get into it and just go, go, go. Well, I have some objectives lined up. Uh, I know exactly what I need to be working on. Could do it. Could just sit here and stare out my windshield. It's really nice, actually. After this, I'm going to go outside and breathe some fresh air. Have a little walk. It's going to be wonderful. But whatever that is, whatever that pseudo-apathy is, maybe I'm just going through a rough spot of the fast. Maybe I need more salt. I'll try that out. I don't like that blah, apathy, blank state of being. And I'll expand on that other side of it in a later video on things I do like about fasting. But right now, it's just... I feel like it makes me have a very short fuse. Like, like uh, I have a hair trigger today. No one's bothered me. Nothing offensive has happened. No problems have come up, but I, I have such a short fuse for BS <laughs> and for the things that come at you in a workplace. <laughs> it's like, oh, this thing needs to be done differently. I'm like, cool. I'll do it differently, whatever, but uh, why? <laughs> this is, uh, why would anyone choose to do this? Anyway, um, other things I don't like about a fast. I don't enjoy when you get really hungry. Okay? Sometimes this happens as your insulin levels are coming down. Sometimes you look at a picture of food. And you're like, oh, yes. I love drywall covered in cheese. You know, whatever the thing is, you just you get a, a really sharp pang of hunger. And maybe it sticks around for a while. And that can be rough. Uh, the way I deal with that is I just drink some more salt water. It's very helpful, but that can be frustrating when you're you're focused on a timeline. I'm going to get this fast done. I'm going to achieve the goal I set out to do. Maybe even push past it. I'm gonna be an overachiever, and I'm only thinking about tacos. So that can be frustrating. Uh, I don't like when you get a little ways into a fast and it becomes hard to sleep. Some people, that happens in the first 24 hours. Other people, it's many days into it. But that can be really frustrating. 
when <laughs> you're laying there and you've been tired or you've been worn down and your body just won't fall asleep. That can, oof, that could be frustrating. Then you go on that can't sleep frustration spiral. Woohoo! Got to avoid that. Uh, what else? What else? See, I thought that I had another point I wanted to make. But I'm sitting here and it's that flat EKG thing. Just, Must not have been important if I can't remember. <laughs> so, the flip side of that will come up in the positive video. But right now, things I don't like. I don't enjoy the lethargy that can come with it. When your body's switching into ketosis, some people have described some of these symptoms as keto flu. Um, some people just call it low blood sugar, but sometimes you get really worn down and <laughs> basic tasks can be hard. And I haven't, I haven't experienced that in a while, but some of my first fasts ever really had that worn down feeling where you just, it's almost like when you have a flu and you just want to lay down, like you don't have any energy to do anything. It's kind of like that, but without the overall discomfort of a flu. It's just the, the lack of energy or desire to do anything. So that, that can be brutal if that happens. Drink more salt water and lay down. Let your body go through that transition. It'll all work out. But man, that is not fun. Um, I don't like... I'm at work, right? I don't like that uh, uh, people will bring food to the office sometimes and for everyone, right? Someone brings donuts or whatever. People bring to offices. And <laughs> sometimes junk food would be nice. Sometimes they bring meals. You know, like, oh, we're having the corporate sit-down thing. Everyone grab a plate. You can't do that when you're fasting. <laughs> and I'm a big fan of free food, okay? I like when you can get some free food because I'm very frugal. And I know it's not free. There's no free lunch. Someone had to pay for it. But for me, right now, it's free. <laughs> and not taking advantage of that. The the part of me that grew up overweight, <laughs> the little fat kid on the inside, is like, grab the food. Grab it now. It's going away. You can't let it escape. When will the next meal be? You got to gotta get in there. Grab three. <laughs> so that can be a little frustrating because you feel like you missed out on something. Um... And that's the other thing I don't like about fasting. Okay, so it's not that you're hungry. It's not that like, you really want to eat at that time. But for me, I get this feeling like I'm missing out on food. Like if I don't eat it, it'll be gone. Or there won't be an opportunity later. Uh, it's kind of hard to express in words. But uh, I have to tell myself that, say on Saturday when I'm eating again. If that's when I'm eating again, right? Uh, on Saturday, tacos will still exist. You can get tacos then. <laughs> and you're not missing out on anything right now. So changing that mindset from the being left out or missing out on something to uh, there's something to look forward to in the future. Sometimes that's a struggle, especially when you're in the grips of that hunger. Like, man, I could really go for some food right now. I'm missing out on all these eating opportunities. <sighs> That can be rough. Because you know what tastes good? Food. You know what feels good to do? Is eat. <laughs> your brain releases wonderful chemicals that say, hey, thank you. You're prolonging your existence by eating this food. It's, it's chemically impossible to not feel good eating. I, I'm sure there's disorders or inhibitors of some kind. Sure, sure, sure. But in general, <laughs> food feels good to consume. <laughs> And, and your brain will trick you into thinking like you're really missing out on something right now. Life's passing you by because you're not eating the donut taco cheeseburger over there. So that can be kind of a frustrating thing to deal with. So those are the reasons that I don't like fasting. Ah, uh, one more social experiences. So if you're going out with some people and it's in the middle of a fast, well, you didn't plan very well. <laughs> because I, usually it's fine conversation wise but sometimes people are like why aren't you eating the food if you go over to your in-laws place right they make you some food and you go I'm I'm not eating right now <laughs> uh, silly me 
that could be incredibly rude. <laughs> but also, they might not understand. There might be cultural differences. And so the scheduling part of it related to that whole social interaction, that can be frustrating. How will we fit it in? and meet everyone's needs, whether it's yours through fasting or the social needs of whatever group you're a part of or event. And that's about it. Those are all pretty small things, aren't they? There must be a lot of good stuff coming up in the next video where I talk about things that I love about fasting, which I'm going to be excited to do <laughs> because this apathy is going to go away. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching. I really hope it wasn't a complete teeth pulling. <laughs> trying to just hang in there while uh, Mr. Apathy Brain over here is uh, relaying some points to you. Have a great day. Talk to you later.